Welcome back to OVN. The season of the hunt is here. The crow is here. He doesn't know who he is. We know who he is, but he's going to offer us armor, weapons, mods, upgrades, all sorts of cool, neat stuff with what acts like the prismatic recaster from the drifter. So let's first talk about reputation with the crow. It's recon data. That's what we're going to need to increase our rank. And it's very important that we increase our rank because as we do, it unlocks new mods, perks, even new hunts for our weapon and our armor. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to open up our menu here in the Cryptolith Lure, click details, and the first section here is prey mod slot. Now this is going to give us all the different prey that we're going to hunt down. The one that specifically is for Recon Data is Prey Mod HKD-1. After we defeat the boss, we get Recon Data. Now let's take a look at the Lure Mods and Upgrades. So I've already unlocked the first two, but the first one is Reputation Boost 1. Increases the amount of Recon Data obtained from Wrathborn Hunts. Very, very important that we do that. Secondly is Improved Seeker 1. Unlocks Hive Wrathborn Hunts. The next is Power Hunter, increases the power of rewards obtained from Wrathborn Hunts. The amount of weekly powerful Wrathborn Hunt rewards is increased from 2 to 4, and the Crow's weekly challenge is upgraded to a Pinnacle Power Reward. Reputation Boost 2, increases the amount of recon data obtained from Wrathborn Hunts. Stacks with Reputation Boost 1, increases the drop rate of lure mods when completing non-Wrathborn activities. And I actually had one of those happen in a strike, which is, is pretty cool that they're tying it in with other aspects of the game. Season Hunter, beneficial modifiers are activated in Wrathborn Hunts. And the last one is Mutation Mod Extractor, increases the amount of mutation mods obtained from Wrathborn Hunts. Now these lure mods here, this is how we curate our, our artifacts. So when we go in there and we're trying to decide which person we're going to hunt down, we can also have these lure mods in here and that's going to affect the armor and the weapons that we have. So armor trophy mods, so armor obtained from Wrathborn will roll with higher than average stats. Trophy perk veto mod, so it's going to exclude specific perks and include other perks. There's a handling trophy mod, armor trophy mod, Armor obtained from Wrathborn will roll with higher recovery stat bias. And Trophy Perk Veto Mod um, kind of works the same way as the other one. So we're going to use these in conjunction with what type of weapon or what armor that we're actually trying to focus. This is fantastic. Focused weapons, focused armor, trying to get exactly what we need. And this had been missing from Destiny for years. And it was introduced last season with the Prismatic Recaster, and this season is continued with this lure mod and upgrade system. So this is the Cryptolith Lure, the Modified Hive Artifact. Um, the lure upgrades here tie specifically in with your reputation that you're upgrading with the Crow, and then the lure mods. So this is who we're actually trying to track down. So the Prey Mod Savic here is a Deafening Whisper. It is the Grenade Launcher, and it's pretty cool. I've already done this one, and hopefully I'll have a video out on it soon. The next one here is the Prey Mod. It is the Recon Data. That's how we increase our reputation. Very important. Uh, Prey Mod Dolorath. This is the class item. Specifically looking for a class item. Well, there you go. And then the Prey Mod Zillox. Lure Mutations. So let's talk about the mutation slots now. So there's a lot of these out in the wild. Um, I've got one while doing one of the hunts. I got one in a strike, so not sure how many they are, and I'm not sure exactly what all of them do, but I have a few here that we can take a look at. So armor trophy mod, that's an all around. It'll roll with higher than average stats. We've got an armor trophy mod here. Armor obtained from a Wrathborn will roll with higher mobility stat. Uh, resilience there, strength, stability, Handling. This is one of the veto mods. Another one. There's three now that I have there. Uh, velocity or range. Uh, weapons obtained from Wrathborn will include a velocity or range masterwork. And this is reload or charge time. So with these two mutation mods, we can curate exactly what we're looking for, whether it be armor or weapons. So let's talk about how you actually charge your Cryptolith Lure. The lure charge is directly tied to strikes, gambit, and crucible matches. So once you do one, that percentage on lure charge will go up. Um, I usually, I think I got like 91% on the first one. So the cool thing about this is you can store lure charges. So if you go out and do three or four strikes, 
you'll probably max out your charges here and then you can run uh, three hunts back to back to back. Very cool that they do this store uh, lure charge so you don't have to run a strike, then do a hunt, run a strike, do a hunt, do a crucible, do a hunt. It's neat the way that they did it. So that's how you charge it. So as you upgrade the crow's reputation, you're gonna have an opportunity to get Ingrams every time you do so. The season of the hunt weapons include a grenade launcher, the Royal Chase Scout Rifle, Friction Fire Submachine Gun, Corsair's Wrath, which is the Linear Fusion Rifle, and then the Deafening Whisper Grenade Launcher. So once you've charged your lure and put in the mod slots that you want, you're gonna get the hunt for the Wrathborn. You'll track down the first one in a public space area, You'll defeat it, and then you will track it. Once you've located your target, you're going to be put into your own instance, so you will not be in a public space anymore, and you will fight your final boss. Once you reach your final destination here, you'll have a wave of ads with Servitors. Once you kill the Servitors, they're going to drop a green pool. This is going to boost your damage. Make sure you hop in that. And these fights really aren't that hard early on. I'm assuming they're going to get harder later down the road. But with a little heavy ammo and a little super action, you'll claim your reward rather quickly. There you have it guys, that is exactly how everything works with the Cryptolith Lure, the Season of the Hunt. It doesn't seem very complicated and it's, it's just complicated enough for just to make sure that we get exactly the type of armor and weapons that we want. As you see there, I got the Deafening Whisper. It is a really cool grenade launcher. Expect a video out on that in the next day or so. A like and a sub would be very much appreciated. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.